Janet Mock was born on March 10, 1983, in Honolulu, Hawaii, U.S., to an African-American father, Charlie Mock III, and a Hawaiian-Portuguese mother, Elizabeth Barrett. She was the second child of her parents. She was named Charles at birth. Mock mostly grew up in Hawaii, with brief stays in Oakland, California, and Dallas. Mock mentioned in her memoir that she knew from a tender age that she was a girl in a boy's body. In Hawaii, she had several transgender friends and teachers. Mock experienced her first hormonal transition when she was about to complete her freshman year of high school. Her hormone therapy sessions began during her sophomore year. Her friend and fellow high school volleyball player Wendy supported her. She also worked as a prostitute to fund her medical expenses. She later changed her name to Janet, inspired by Janet Jackson. Mock was the first person in her family to attend college. She graduated with a BA in fashion merchandising from the University of Hawaii in Manoa in 2004. She then obtained an MA in journalism from New York University, NYU, in 2006. Mock underwent her sex change surgery in Thailand during her first year of college. She was hired by People Magazine and worked for their website after graduating from NYU. Janet Mock is an American transgender author, TV slash podcast host, TV show producer, columnist, and LGBTQ rights activist. She authored a best-selling memoir, Redefining Realness, which was the first book written from a trans woman's perspective. The book chronicled her journey of experiencing sexual transition. She underwent a sex change surgery at a tender age. Her second book primarily spoke about her experiences after her transition into a woman. A New York University graduate, Mock began her career as an editor at People.com and subsequently contributed to several magazines, throwing light on the conditions of transgender people of color. Mock has been an inspiration to children who face criticism for their sexual orientation. She has raised her voice against all sorts of stereotyping that can cause feelings of inferiority in children. Several organizations have felicitated Mock's endeavors to secure equal rights for transgender people.